country. guys, I want to introduce you to Level 7's new race truck. I know it doesn't look like a race truck, but we're going to turn this truck into something that we can all enjoy. Whoever wants to drive it, whoever wants to learn to drive, and especially you guys. I want you guys to learn a little something through taking a truck that is essentially not ready for any kind of motorsport and working on a budget to go out and have fun. The goal here is to not be ultra competitive right off the bat but just to go out and enjoy yourself. What does it take to go to an autocross? If you wanted to build a drift truck and just do amateur drifting, what does that take? Like, what do you really need to spend your money on? And in this video series, that's exactly what I'm gonna try to focus on. Truth be told, this is my truck. I paid my money. I borrowed money from the bank to buy this truck used. So we're gonna do this exactly like you guys would or, or any normal blue collar guy that is just like myself. It's easy to show you guys $200,000 trucks that we're working on the shop. Well, reality is, is that's not me uh, as a normal guy. And it's probably not a lot of you guys either. And the truth is we don't have a lot of capital to work with sometimes. And we also don't have a lot of free time. So I'm only gonna work on this truck on the nights after work or on the weekend or on a Sunday afternoon. And I'm really gonna focus on trying to enjoy the time that I'm working on this truck too. So we're gonna try to take a lot of the stress about trying to build some highly competitive truck completely out of the equation and really just try to have fun with our friends that work here and our friends within the industry who are also manufacturers or friends with you guys that want to come out and share a good time at these events too. So I way overpaid for this truck I think. I paid $27,500 for this OBS but here's the thing. It's got a full forged drivetrain in it, an LQ4 that has SRP pistons, JE rods, it's got studs in the heads, it's got good gaskets, it's got good valve train, it's got a single turbo, and on E85 with a Holley EFI system, it makes 650, or actually a little over 650 wheel horsepower, and a little over 650 foot-pounds of torque. So, the goal here was to already spend all the money on the drivetrain. I wanna focus on suspension, wheels, tires, brakes, chassis, seats, harness bars, all the stuff that probably matters the most to you. It has a T56 in it now, it's got a twin disc in it, so I think that the drivetrain is something that we don't need to worry about. However, this suspension doesn't do what we want it to, so we're gonna replace all that, all the brakes, all the wheels and tires, all that stuff. So anyways, I'm gonna name this truck Ray. That's R-E-I. Ray is a Japanese word for zero, to me, ground zero. So we're gonna start at what I think is a zero and let's take it all the way up to something level seven would enjoy and be proud of. So that's Ray. This is a whole new series on building a fun truck to take out and enjoy with everybody. So I hope you guys get a lot out of this. Please comment, tell me what you want more of, tell me what you wanna see in the series, and uh, what do you think of the idea? Enjoy. Okay, my good friend Luke, he just so happens to be off on Wednesdays. He just went to eat lunch with us and I talked him into coming back to the shop to see my new truck. Uh, he's a pretty open dude, so let's see what he has to say about this truck. <laughs> Is it all that you thought it would be? I love it. Do you love it? I love that there's no suspension. There's no suspension. No. It's on the bump stops. There's no travel. My favorite mod is the double gas tank. Yeah. Uh, instead of putting a gas fill in the floor, they put a uh, Chevy Silverado fill in the bedside behind the other bedside fill. This was, I guess, the easiest thing to do. I have no idea why this would be <laughs> preferred over a fill in the floor. This is a piece of 3D printed plastic. I say it looks like two by four or something. It, Dylan was like, is that wood? No, it's just a piece of plastic. So we'll fix that. It's a 96, so it has round dash, but they put the older square dash in it, which you probably don't like, but I love it. And these are like the 454 SS seats. Yeah, those are nice seats. Those were like a big deal. I had the bench. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's because this is a race truck. Race truck stuff. <laughs> race truck. <laughs> However, it's steering wheel. this is the headlight switch from the 96. I was going to say, is that from the 96 or 2000s? Because that's the same know. headlight switch as in my own too. Well, the regular headlight switch doesn't really do anything. It's the other headlight switch that's screwed into the dash. These are custom. 
Those are the sport mirrors. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm glad I got that. Yeah. So yes. guys, I'm not trying to like, what? like give anybody a hard time, but look. This is the steering shaft. Oh it, it, it's okay. That's okay. Uh, <laughs> it's, I mean, it's totally stable. We're about to go rip off. Let's go do some circle track. <laughs> See what happens. There should be a support bearing in the firewall. It's, it's not there. It actually looks real good. Yeah. It's on the 85. All right, you wanna go drive around? Do it. All right, guys, we're gonna take my buddy Luke for a ride. And honestly, this is really like my first drive in it too, since last, when it got, shh, I got the e-brake on. When I took delivery of it, it was raining, so. We'll see how this goes. First dry drive? Yeah. Gonna need that. <laughs> it's a frame. It's a frame dragging the ground. I mean. Oh. This guy's not gonna let you through. I definitely don't have the ground clearance to drive in the gravel over there. God, this is gonna be embarrassing. <laughs> well, don't mind us. We're just gonna grate your driveway, bro. Um. I guarantee he's gonna look out when we walk past. Yeah, like, like, what, what the, the heck? hell are they doing? Hi. No. Okay. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Dude, if you guys can hear that, I'm on a flat asphalt, and the subframe's on the ground. I mean, you've probably got an inch and a half of clearance. You're definitely gonna drag at this little lip right here. Oh. Oh no, okay. right. yeah. Oh yeah. Battery. Okay. I've seen videos of him ripping on it, so it's got to be fine. Tank's full of E85 and uh, there's oil pressure. <laughs> so that's, that's a good start. So. You guys don't know this, but like Luke and I rode together, what, like eight years ago on a first drive? Yep. And I exploded a motor. Yeah, we did a hellacious uh, ripping at it all the way up into third gear and bang. Quite a bit of counter steer to keep going straight from that steering shaft. <laughs> wow. It's really not as bad as what I expected it to be as far as the steering. Oh, fuck. <laughs> There's a little delay I, I in the steering. Take that back. There's a little delay in the steering. It's a hard ride. We almost crossed the center line. steer around corners. You're ripping as much as you can with this steering shaft like that. 37. Here's a bump. Oh. Oh, not bad actually. Oh, butter. This is where we cross into Mexico. All in all, I feel like I got a deal. Yeah. I mean, it definitely has potential. <laughs> Best five grand you've ever spent. Right? Yep. <laughs> Here's the party spot. Ha, ha, ha. 
<laughs> That'll do. That'll do. <laughs> Ooh wee. Thumbs up, he's not calling the cops. He gave us a thumbs up. <laughs> That's pretty sick. Seemed all right. Steering's fine when you're at a full lock <laughs> on the left, right? Yeah. Full temps 207, that seems fine. Get into third. got at but it felt like once it about to got got to about 4,000 rpm it would just blow the tires off yeah i hit limiter a couple times okay guys summary of this drive all the potential in the world got it got it third there you go when the gate opens, it's like... <laughs> <laughs> so what kind of what kind of boost is that putting out when it does 12? It? 12. Oh, oh, these guys are like, oh no, not again. God, you're gonna have to. <laughs> <laughs> On the ground, baby. We just fix this for you. <laughs> I went to grab the door handle and just broke this piece of trim right off. <laughs> Hey, it wouldn't be a ride if we didn't break something while we were... That's... that's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> 